All right, this is Brent Marvick of BP Kitchen Equipment, and we have here a 2022 Observer GSPH Slicer. In this video, we're gonna be going over the cosmetic condition of the slicer only. I'm gonna showcase from the left all the way to right side and back uh, of, the, of the aluminum, all the parts, and uh, show you what kind of condition the slicer is in. At some point, we'll be doing a video uh, showcasing what it is that we do here at BP um, for our for refurbishment process, and maybe be comparing uh, you know, what our slicers look like right when they get in uh, to what they look like when they go out. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna look at uh, the condition of the slicer and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, so this slicer is in really good shape. Uh, it is a 2022, so it has very little use. You see here, there's almost no marring on this side, which is typically where you see most of the damage. It's on this left side for some reason. A Little bit of nicks in the corner, honestly, nothing much. Um, this is also in really good shape. Normally you see scuffing back there, um, but there's there's honestly very little. There's some light scratches. Goes over here. Uh, touch pad is also in great shape. Um, yeah, this front uh, has very little marring, uh, as you can see. The gauge plate is also in pretty good shape. There is some, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is some scratching right there. Um, but honestly, that's about, uh, that's about what we see that's average. Um, these, gauge, these gauge plates normally have very little scratching right there. Uh, this side of the slicer is also in excellent condition. Sometimes you do see some scratching that goes up and down on this. Um, as you can see, there really isn't any on this. Um, the blade cover, uh, it's just about normal from what we see. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of big dings, just normal kind of wear and tear from people dropping it or honestly, I don't know, I don't know what it is that people do that damage this but uh this gauge plate is overall in good shape as you can see the blade is in excellent condition plenty of life left it's been cleaned sanitized and it's very sharp ready to cut a sheet of paper right. back side there we go on the back side of this I can't spin this way over um, on the back side of this you can see that it looks pretty good um, very little scratching there is it's probably the most scratching is right in here. It's just where people probably drop the gauge plate and then somehow some way scratch right there, but that's not gonna affect it too much. As for the carriage, the carriage is in excellent condition. Typically you see wearing right along here from where this white little plastic nub comes down and touches on that, uh, on that smooth, smooth part right next to the groove. Um, this doesn't have that, it's been worn very little. And that's about it. What I'm gonna do is just showcase its operation. So the slicer is plugged in, turn it on, light turns on, it's spinning. And open up the gauge plate and this carriage will slide right back and forth, very smooth, very clean. Something else we do, I'll mention this about our refurbishment process, we, we calibrate all the safety mechanisms, we make sure all the electrical, all the mechanical work, something it is that we do. You can see here that the light is on, the blade is running calibrate the mechanism so that as soon as you close the gauge plate, it automatically turns off. Uh, so that is this slicer. Let me know if you have any questions about it. I'm more than happy to answer uh, whatever questions you may have. And yeah, this is Brent Marth with BP Kitchen Equipment. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a good day.